This is the WBBM Air Theater, Wrigley Building, Chicago. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, I remember when I was first to come to this country. After I'm a kiss the ground and I smelled up all the fresh air, I'm a said in a big voice, Luigi, you're gonna do so much for this country that they're gonna change the name from America to the United States of Basco. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm here three years and the other morning I'm looking in the mirror and I said, well, Luigi, smart guy, what do you do for your country besides eat, the sleep, and go broke? <laughs> but Mamma Mia, how I wish I could do something important to make this country proud of me. Like, well, uh, take Abraham Lincoln. He was uh, so important that put his picture on the $5 bill and on a penny. That's it to show Mr. Lincoln is a love of the richer people and the poor people the same way. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a George Washington. Oh, there's hundreds of things named after him. Washington University, George Washington Bridge, Washington Park. And on my block is even a Washington Handel Laundry. <laughs> Come on, if he was living it today, Mr. Washington would make a fortune with all those businesses. Yeah, in this country, if you do something important, they name lots of things after you. Take, for instance, well... Well, uh, Wild Bill Hickok, he was uh, so famous that they make a belt after him. <laughs> oh, what I could uh, do for my country that, that it would be so big, uh, something would have been named after me. If only some uh, little voice uh, would have whispered in my ear and uh, say what to do. Luigi, my friend! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Oh, oh, oh hello, Pasquale. Oh, I was uh, so lost in my thoughts, I... Hey, wait. Wait, maybe you could help me out. Uh, well, I'm in a bigger hurry, Luigi. Is it the money you want? No, just some advice. Then sit down. I got plenty of time. <laughs> now, uh, what do you got in your head besides a hair, little banana nose? Well, Pasquale, I would like it to do something big for my country. What do you think I could do, Ooh, huh? Who is the lucky you come to me? Right away, I got the answer. You want to do something real big for your country? Yes, sir. Marry my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> but, well, I, I meant I, I, I want to do something important so, so I could have a something named after me. Well, marry my daughter, Rosa. I have 20 little bambinos, and they all are going to be named after me. <laughs> Mike Basco, Francesca Basco, Giuseppe Basco, Ralph Basco, Jim Basco, Maria Basco. Basco, well, I want to help America, not to fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Spinster. You want to know the best way you can help America? Yeah, help us, Clary. Go back to Italy. <laughs> what? Sure. And if you're stubborn and you want to stay here, then get back in your antique shop, close the doors tight, and don't let any American soldier see your face. No, so... But why, Pasquale? Because if he sees what he's fighting for, we ain't got a chance. 
<laughs> now, Pascal, you, you're just saying that because are you mad because I'm, I'm a nomad in Russia. Mad? Who's mad? I'm a nomad. No, then why your face is so red and blown up like a big balloon? <laughs> because I'm too healthy for my own good, that's why. <laughs> well, it's no use to argue. It's, uh, I think, though, you give me a good idea. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I, I'm going to become a soldier. Ho, ho, ho. Look who's going to become a soldier. Listen, if you're going to do something, uh, volunteer yourself for assisting a prisoner of war. <laughs> assisting a prisoner assist of prison war? What's uh, that? That's a very patriotic. It means if the enemy captures American soldier, you take his place in a prison camp. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, you're just making fun of me. But, but there must be something I can do, Pasquale. Hey, I know. I joined the army, the navy, the marine, the air corps. Oh, the, the, you're going to join the, the army, the navy, marine, the air corps. Maybe you even want to join the paratroopers. Pasquale, <laughs> <laughs> you mean the paratroopers? Snoopers, the troopers, what's the difference? With that empty head of you got, you don't need a parachute to float. <laughs> paratrooper. Yeah, paratrooper. Mamma mia, that, that would make me a real big hero. Hey, Pascal, I'm, I'm going to be paratrooper. What are you talking about? You ain't got the nerve to be a papa. How are you going to be a paratrooper? <laughs> Look, I don't... Oh, yes. Go ahead, Luigi. Go ahead. Why should I talk you out of it? Be a paratrooper. Then you're going to come crawling the back to me. <laughs> but wait, wait. Hey, Pascal, you, you think I, I, I could be a paratrooper even if I'm not the citizen? Oh, sure. That's a made to order for your situation. They always drop you over a foreign country, you see, so you don't need a no citizen, apparently. <laughs> All you need is a passport for the country they're dropping you in. Dropping me in? Sure, it's easy. First, they put a parachute on you. They take you over the enemy, push you out of the plane. You fall 40,000 feet, and then you pull a little string, and if the parachute opens, you're safe. <laughs> if it opens, eh? But, uh, Pasquale, what happens if it's not to open up? You return it to the company, you get double your money back. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, what am I What's the matter, Luigi? You getting a little scared, maybe? Maybe you're changing your mind? Mama, no, 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 Pasquale, never, never, never. Um, Might it be safe for just to stay home and sit on a rose's lap, a little cabbage puss? <laughs> Pasquale... I'm a rather jump of 40,000 feet from a parachute and a fall off a rose's lap. <laughs> oh, you... No, no, goodbye, goodbye, Pasquale. I'm going to tell my night school how I'm going to help out to my country. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From the ocean to Luigi, I personally don't think the paratroopers is for you. I don't think you're strong enough. Oh, you're when you're young from those airplanes. You, you, you land with a gigantic yolt. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luigi, if you got to try something, try in the Navy. At least you take a trip around the world. You don't see it all at once from the stratosphere. <laughs> Just the, 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 the Navy? That's a good idea. It's a nice, clean life. Uh, and there's no long hikes. Yeah, but you've got to be a genius to button up those pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 friends. My mind is made up. I'm going to... Uh, better put out the cigarettes, fellas. It's time to go in the classroom. Oh, no, come on. Oh, hello, Miss Baldy. Hello, Miss Baldy. Hello, Miss Baldy. All right, class. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Here. <laughs> oh, why, Mr. Schultz, I can't believe my ears. When I call the roll, instead of here, you usually have something funny to say. Yeah, but when you hear the stupid answers I'm going to give tonight, you're not only going to laugh, you're going to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, I can imagine. Mm. Well, class, for today we will... Uh, Mr. Basco, you've got your hand raised. Uh, Miss Bunning, I, I want to ask you something about... By the paratroopers. Well, there he goes, the Italian space patrol. <laughs> Luigi, why don't you think it over first? Yo, uh, the best thing Class, to do. please. Mr. Oh. Basco, what were you starting to say? Well, Miss Bunny, I, I was thinking, I, I'm here uh, three years in America, so two and a half, I guess, but maybe I could do something bigger for my country, like, like to be paratrooper. And then if I could be a paratrooper, I could be a big, bigger hero. I could have helped win the war. I could have go over. Mr. Basco, I, 
I hate to disappoint you, but I don't think you can become a paratrooper. Huh? Why not? Sir? Well, I think you've got to be a citizen. Oh. Well, now that you've got your discharge papers, let's all go out and celebrate. <laughs> My Luigi, remember, crying never helped anybody, except maybe Johnny Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, class, I, I, I know you all are good friends, and you want to should do what's the best, but still, still, I'm not the feeler right there. There's no reason for that feeling at all, Mr. Basco. Yeah, but the last year I was so ashamed of Miss Balding. I'm, I'm not even made enough for money to pay my income tax. Oh, that's too bad. And still, I'm wanted to do something, so... So I'm going to put the money in the envelope and wrote to his dollar to pay for your blanket. <laughs> you know the funny thing. I sent him a dollar, too. You saw... Yeah, oh, you but did it? it didn't do any good. They still want everything I owe them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. I'm only trying to cheer you up. Luigi, look, as far as I'm concerned, you're a great American right now. Yeah, but, friends, uh, you see, I, I want to help and... Uh... Mr. Basco, I have an idea for you. Have you given blood yet? Huh? <laughs> Miss Bunning, you mean... You mean as a patriotic, I should have cut to myself? <laughs> no. no, Mr. Basco. You go down to the blood bank, they take a pint of your blood, and it goes to our wounded soldiers. That's, that's a wonderful idea, Miss Spalding. You, you should do it, Luigi. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. I'm going to do it. And, and I'm not going to do it with just a winner pint. I'm going to make up for the three years I'm here. I'm going to give a pint of blood tomorrow, not a pint the next day, then the day after that, and the day after that. Oh, and then geez, I'm going to... Save some for yourself. <laughs> hey, but friends... Friends, you, you think this would be a big thing, giving the blood, huh? Ach, the biggest, Luigi. Now you go right home and shave yourself three or four times with an extra sharp razor. <laughs> extra sharp razor? But why should you? But because if you're going to give blood tomorrow, it wouldn't hurt to practice up a little tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that millions of people find helpful and enjoyable. During the rush of a busy day, chew a stick of delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum from time to time. You'll be surprised how much that little stick of Wrigley's Spearmint can do for you. For instance, it quickly freshens your mouth and throat. Then, too, the pleasant, easy chewing helps relieve that feeling of strain and tension, gives you comfort and satisfaction. So you see, chewing Wrigley Spearmint Gum helps you keep going through the day feeling your best and doing your best. Try it and see for yourself. Wherever you go, carry a package of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum with you. From time to time, chew a stick. Chew it for enjoyment. Chew it for the help it gives you in carrying through your day's activities. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, Miss Spalding has given me a wonderful idea how I can help America. And who knows, maybe, maybe, maybe they name is something after me after all. I am mean, not expect a bridge or ever or a building or anything big like that. Just something in a smaller... Like, and instead of a city dumps, it should be called a Basco dumps. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to give a blood. It should have helped some American soldier. So I'm going to write the night to the Red Cross. That's a funny thing, Mama Mia. I'm going to look all over for Red Cross and, and I guess where I'm going to find it. In my own bank. Uh-huh. Right down the window was, was, was a sticker and was a say, give it to the Red Cross. Imagine, I'm here three years, the first time I know my bank is a take of blood. <laughs> There's no one does it call a blood the bank. <laughs> well, I'll write to you more later, Mamma Mia, but right now I'm, I'm going to my bank. Uh, hello, Mr. Manager. Hello, Mr. Basco. Anything I can go for you? Uh, no, no, that's all right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, looking for the right window. Uh, do you wish to make a withdrawal or a deposit? Withdrawal or deposit? Uh, 
You mean I'm not only give it, but I'm going to get it? <laughs> of course. Oh, well, well, right now I'm going to make a deposit. Right over there. Uh, how was... Well, something uh, wrong, Mr. Basco? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm looking for a bottle. <laughs> a bottle? Yeah, I'm looking for a bottle. I'm a can't make a deposit without a bottle. <laughs> this I don't get. What do you say, mister? I say this I don't get. What are you not supposed to? Is it for a soldier? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, do you want to uh, deposit money? Money? <laughs> Uh, so, so that's what's wrong. Uh, you think I'm a deposit of money? Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm a deposit of blood. What's the matter? Do our tellers look anemic? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Manja, you, you know, I understand. My teacher, Miss Bolling, is a said I'm sure to go to the blood bank. The blood bank? You mean the Red Cross? That's right, and you got a Red Cross sticker in the UN. Well, now I understand. It's merely a little mistake. Well, I'll tell you where to go, Mr. Basco. You see... The reason that sticker is there is because we gave blood ourselves last week. Oh, well, that's a good. Then, 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 then maybe you can tell me all about it. Yes, then, huh? there's nothing to it. If you'll take my advice, drink a few glasses of water before you go. Oh, no, I'm not going to fool them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. When I'm going to give a blood, I'm going to give a real 100% of blood. I'm not going to water the merchandise. <laughs> How do you do, sir? Do you wish to donate? No, thanks. I'm, 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 a, I'm a just an eight. Hmm? Oh, I said donate. Excuse me, I thought you said a donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like a donut. I'm going to donate to my blood. Uh, fine. Just go over there to one of those little tables. We've got to fill out your form. Fill out to my form? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, I ate the plenty. You don't have to fill me out to no more. <laughs> a nurse will take down your statistics on a chart. All right. Hmm, it's a, so quiet in here, huh? That's a funny. Nurses are with a blue uniforms, the doctors are with a white jacket. Still is a call that I had the cross. <laughs> yes, sir. Will you take a seat? <laughs> Thank you. I'm... Now, we'll fill out this chart. Name, please? Luigi Basco. Will you spell that, please? Somebody, you don't spell it so good? <laughs> uh, never mind, I've got it. Address? Tw- 21 and North Hollister Street. Uh. Mm-hmm. Telephone? Yeah, in the back of the store. <laughs> <laughs> Your telephone number, sir. Oh, that's, that's a Sedgwick 3-9895. Mm-hmm. Uh, occupation? Huh? Oh, sure, sure. I'm, oh, I'm going to get that on the boat. Your occupation? I'm a thought you said a vaccination. <laughs> no, I mean your business. Oh, well, the business... Business and nice are very bad, but I'm hoping it's going to pick up in a Christmas. I bought a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, the, oh, antique shop. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, you may take your chart to that nurse over there. All right. Uh, she's taking my blood? No, she just examines you. <laughs> she... She examines me? Yes. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm rather waiting for a man's nurse. <laughs> no, she just takes your blood pressure and your temperature. Oh, well, well all right. Uh, Mama, me, I'm a, I'm a go to so many people, and my blood is, a, is a maybe going to change his mind, and there's no one to give <laughs> oh, Excuse me, Miss Nice, I'm, I'm a blood breath of you, my blood pressure and temperature. You want to take? Just have a seat, sir. All right. Now then, let's fill out the rest of your chart. Have you had any illnesses in the last month? No. Diabetes? No. Pneumonia? No. Leukemia, typhoid, malaria? Mommy, you mean I gotta be sicker before they're gonna take my blood? <laughs> How much do you weigh? 138. Stripped? I'm a don't know. <laughs> I never take my clothes off in a drugstore. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Now, just keep this thermometer in your mouth, and I'll take your blood pressure. Now, let me see. 130 over 90. All right. I'll have that thermometer. 98.6. Fine. <laughs> I wish I, I could have got a dozen marks into my night to school. Now, we'll take your blood pretty soon. Hey, good. Uh, when, when a nurse are you going to bring in the wounded soldier? Oh, your, your blood isn't used here. It's flown overseas. <laughs> oh, you, you fly overseas? Yes, why? I'm a good idea. What? I'm always the one to travel. Maybe you keep the blood in me and take it out the one I'm going to get over. <laughs> Travel suggestion, but not very practical. Now, give me your finger. I'm going to take a blood count. You're going to count in my blood? Yes, why? Well, is there nothing on you? Better get us some help, or we're going to be here all night. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll just take one drop. And that's going to be enough for a wounded soldier? I'm afraid you're too inquisitive. Now, hold up your finger. There. <laughs> now, we put the drop on the slide. Uh, would you happen to know what type of blood you have? What the type of blood I'm a got? Well, it's sure, same as everybody else, a red. <laughs> I just meant, well, we'll know in a minute. Ah, oh, there it is, your type O. Huh? What other types do you got? There? Oh, there are four blood types. A, A, B, B, and O, your type O. Oh, no, no, must have been some mistake. My name is Abasco, that's a B. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about that, Mr. Basco. Now, since you're a little nervous, you just come along with me and I'll take your blood myself. Are you going to... Mama, 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 is it, and now is it going to happen? Uh -huh. You just lie down on this table, Mr. Basco. That's right. Now, I'll clean your arm with these antiseptic solutions. All right. Here. Now, get ready. All right. All right. This won't hurt one no. bit. There. Did you feel it? Yeah. No, 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 I'm a feeling nothing. That's a wonderful. I didn't feel nothing at all. Please, a nice. You want to do me one a bigger favor? Certainly. What is it? Well, when, uh, when you send this uh, bottle to that wounded soldier, ma maybe you put on a little note, huh? That's uh, going to say, from Heloigi Pasca, use in a good health. So, Mamma me, I'm, I'm, I'm just to come back from giving a blood, and, and I'm, I'm feeling very proud. But the funny thing, I'm, I'm not going to be a paratrooper because I'm a foreigner, but, uh, well, it's uh, lucky for me, my blood don't have to be a citizen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mamma me, after I'm, after I'm giving the blood, the nurse was, uh, took me to a little room, and, and she's uh, give me donuts and a coffee. Donut cost me nothing. I'm, I had a 50 cents, but they give it to me for nothing. <laughs> Mom and me, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm a little weak now, so, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go into my bed and, uh... Luigi, put down that letter. We are in a hurry. So, oh, we are all going somewhere and you are going with us. Yeah, I'm gonna, where, 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 where are you gonna? We are gonna give blood. <laughs> what? Yeah, we was thinking, Luigi, why are we sending only you to give? We're going to go with you together. Yeah, but... but Co but come, Levy, that's all or none. Yeah, and if you don't go, we're going to lose our nerve. Yeah, <laughs> we're all going to Miss Spaulding's blood center, and she's going to meet us there and give to. What's the matter, Levy? Don't you want to go? Well, Himmel, don't tell me I ate three dollars worth of steak for nothing. <laughs> well, Luigi, you're not going to back out, are you? No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not going to back, back out the well, all right, come on, come on, come on, I'm, I'm going to go with you. Oh, good, good. Now, smile, Luigi. Why, you look so pale. Somebody would think you already gained. <laughs> well, Mamma me, I'm, I'm not had the heart to say no to my night school of friends and... Because then maybe they, they wouldn't be happy and, and maybe they no go if I'm a donor go. So I'm a went to, to Miss Balding and Senna. I'm not told nobody any over there that I, that there's somebody else who took another pint from me. 
and had to make the two pints. Mamma mia, if, if you ever see American soldier who looks like a lo you're a Luigi, <laughs> that's the one I'm a give to. <laughs> And after I'm a gave her was uh, some more donuts. I was uh, so dizzy and uh, so sick from the donuts, I don't know how much I ate. <laughs> I think it was a uh, 15. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, sitting in my store and I'm, I'm uh, feeling very patriotic, but I'm, I'm also feeling uh, very dizzy and... Luigi, come on with me, I made a date for you. Oh, hell, no, wait, 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 Pasquale. What a mini you made a date for me. Well, you was figuring before what you should do for your country. I figured out it's something that's so important, even I'm going to do it, and you're going to do it with me. Yeah, but Pascal, what, what, what am I going to do? You're going to give her blood. Mamma mia, no! <laughs> Mamma mia, yes, yes, yes. Luigi, if I'm willing to give her some of my grade A, top of quality Pasquale blood... <laughs> You shouldn't hold back any of that homogenized the red stuff for you got. <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale, you don't understand it. I'm, 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 I'm already give it twice. I'm, if I give it once more, I'm gonna be empty. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop your lying, Luigi. Don't be afraid to give. And you only gonna be giving it for one little soldier. My daughter Rosa's coming with us. She's gonna give an offer for a whole division. <laughs> Reports. Now, come on, don't be a coward. And look, you also get a free donut. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, God, please, please, don't say that a word in the front of me. It's, it's making me sick. Well, I'm not going to let you be a slacker. All the time you hollering to be a hero country, should have named something after you, now you're backing out. Come on, I call my Rosa. Rosa! 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 Come on, Papa! <laughs> yes, my little bambino. Come on, we go to the blood bank. No, wait, 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 Pasquale. I'm... I can't even walk. Oh, look at that coward. All right, Rose, I got an idea. What? I'll talk to him and you carry him. Oh, Papa! <laughs> Coming out of it, nurse. Keep an eye on that blood pressure. Oh, the way I was... Luigi, Luigi, don't just lay there. Talk to oh, me. Please stop, Luigi. Oh, Mama mia, what's happening? Mr. Pasquale, we've checked the records of all the blood centers. This man has donated three times today. Three times? My hero! Luigi, let me kiss you! Mama mia, I'm a faint again! <laughs> All right, Mr. Pasquale, lie down. Now, Mr. Basco... No, no, doctor, doctor, wait, wait. That's, that's the little bottle again. You, you're gonna, you're gonna take some more from me? No, Mr. Basco, we're not taking this time. We're giving you a transfusion from Mr. Pasquale's blood. <gasps> what? <laughs> you're giving me from, from a Pasquale? That's How right. you like my luck? I'm a 26 years in this country. This is the first time I ever gave a brother for America. And who I'm a giver to? A foreigner. <laughs> Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you to stop at your merchant's display of chewing gum next time you go to the store. Get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint and take them home for your whole family to enjoy. Millions of families keep Wrigley's Spearmint Gum handy in their homes because it's a wholesome, inexpensive taste treat that people of all ages enjoy. Besides, as you know, chewing on a good piece of gum helps keep teeth clean and bright and aids digestion. So treat the folks at your house to Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. They'll like it, and it's good for them. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman, directed by Mr. Benoff. This is the CBS Radio Network.